Well, now, how do y'all... This is Paige. I am here today to give you your daily warnings. Now, this episode you're about to hear may be suitable. Oh, I'm sorry, not suitable for some. Well, really most. Okay, okay, you know what? I, I'm just going to tell you all the truth. It ain't suitable for anyone to be listening, but here's what it may contain. Mental instabilities. Compulsive alcohol consumption. Don't this touch my good. whiskey. Do not touch my whiskey. See what I mean? See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some strong language. Oh, fuck it. That's a, that's a lie. It's a lot of strong language around here. Violence. Damn it. Where's my fucking whiskey? <laughs> violence and a lot more violence. Especially. Yeah, don't stop touching my moonshine. Especially them neck shots. Now, we can't forget about them. Not to be confused with body shots now, ladies. That's another episode. I mean campaign. I mean episode. Who knows anymore? Inappropriate humor. Go swallow <laughs> your children. That's what she said. <laughs> now, what is now? Oh, boys. Now, let's see. Where was I? I completely lost my spot. Oh, what does it say? Possessed gummy bears. Why do we have possessed gummy bears? Uh, Anything. I can explain that. Um, <laughs> well, I hope no, I you can't. can explain that. <laughs> Possible. Narcolepsy. Oh, my. Mental mindfuckery. And random smackdowns. Hmm. That motherfucker should have never came through the door. <laughs> well, now I wasn't there for that one. I have no idea. Hmm. Just looking for some we acknowledge truth. We acknowledge it may cause psychological traumas, and you can and you should send your therapy bill to 8765. Suck it up. And you can find that on the corner of Butter and Cup Road. Thank you, darlings. Listeners, discretion is advised. You hear that, Clarence? Shut the fuck up. Oh, fuck you, Clarence. <laughs> oh, I'm going back to the goddamn RV. Juju, come on, baby. Come here, Juju. Hello, everybody. Where we last left these brave fucking souls <clears throat> they met a very very strange individual the devil himself on the crossroads near a church surrounded by the undead now the devil wanted to tempt every last one of them However, JP had other, other means. And Kane, shooting the devil square in the face. However, it, just, it didn't face the devil. Matter of fact, he just jumped up and said this. All right, a deal's a deal, Kilgo. Here you go. He gives Kilgo a trinket. The trinket is for the church, the very big church. Everybody looks at Kilgo and mad as hell because they had to be put through that, which Kilgo just obliged by saying, I just wanted to see if y'all were worthy of this, this fight that we're gonna be in. Now, what seeks before them is a herd of zombies and one hell of a big church. Inside of that church is the Jabberwocky who has Kilgo's child. And now they are facing one hell of a bad, bad fight. Now, 
Tell me where are all of y'all at right now? I'm still in the RV out cold. <laughs> that's my and that's where I am too. That's where I'm at too. Kane's looking for a way to climb to the roof of the church. Mm -hmm. He sounds really So cool. I'm see, thinking. I think if we remember correctly, Dylan is on top of the RV. Yes, yeah, she's on top of the RV and she is picking off zombies one by one with Daddy Bo and uh, you know, <laughs> doing double shots at the same time. Peach is real preoccupied trying to fill up her new uh, bolts for her crossbow. And JP has ran off somewhere. No, he's he's right there in the front still, like front of the RV. Um, he went into the RV, so oh, I think okay. he would have tried to wake, in, wake up <clears throat> Lee and uh, and Quentin. And, uh, you know, he grabs the Tommy gun out of the RV and grabs the other propane tank that has a grenade attached to it. And he, uh, he'll like kind of like kick your, your guys' feet <clears throat> to see if you're awake and says, uh, come on, wake up. We got us a fight on hand. I just, I get startled away because I like, don't go near the church. But we're already here. What the? What? What? We're outside the church. The cross Me? Cross. No. No. Lee, 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 what's going on? What's going on? No. Papa Legba came to me. Again? What do you say? Baby Legba say. And he warned me not to go in the church. Are you, are you sure? He said specifically, don't go near the church. And to make sure Cain does not go in. Uh, you make sure that man stays far away. Um, and keep him on his perch. Don't let him in. I don't know how to tell you this, but we're already at the church. And he's already on his halfway there. As long as he does not step foot in that church, I... So you won't step out. And I know Kane got one of these cigars. <clears throat> you all I get my shotgun and my shield and I start and I start running. Yep, JP is right behind y'all. Papa Labor, please give me strength. I'm right here with you, Lee. Okay. I am not going to lose more people I care about to that monster. So, Kilgo and Clarence is right there, standing, standing right there. Kilgo looks over. Sees Quentin and Lee getting out of the RV. He says, Took you long enough? Kilgo, listen to me. Why? I know this is going to sound bad, but you cannot go in there. I don't know why. So Lee will tell you. I Togo just like looks over at you. It's like, I beg your fucking pardon, Papa Legba. The son of a bitch in there has my son, and you're He's telling safe. me I shouldn't go in there. 
Papaleba said that we have to be not to go into the the church. He said to avoid the church. Oh boy. Oh well, I'm just gonna let that son of a bitch take my child and do whatever he wants with it. Fuck no. Papa Lakeba says he's safe right now. To hell with Papa Lakeba. Quentin says he'll go. Ease yourself. Ease yourself. Ease myself. I'll ease myself when that some bitch is dead and I'm eating his flesh. Look, you know as well as I do, we both mutually want this motherfucker dead. But you have to do something that I'm pretty sure you haven't had to do for a while. You know what that is? What? Trust her. Honestly, fine. Kilgo looks down. It's like fine. Son. Why? If we're going to have to do anything at this church, and you know I don't like the idea of raiding this church, especially after what Papa Lemba said to me. Promise me Kane does not go in there. Fine. No, not just fine. Swear. Me. If King goes in, he's not coming out. I promise. So Let's just get this shit over with. You see Kilgo, you see Kilgo walking, walking towards the herd by himself. And as he's walking, y'all see it like, y'all see a tail coming out of it, but it's not a tail that y'all re- recognize from him. It's like long, it's get it's getting longer from him. And on the end of it, it looks like a spade. So who's following Kilgo? Is he is he going straight for the church? He's going straight, straight towards the church. Well, Kane's already to the roof. I got a Tommy gun and I got a makeshift bomb in my hand, so that's where I'm gonna follow uh, Kiko. As hey, as a hey, wolf, is that your TV? That's not my TV. Whose TV is that? I've turned off my TV now. Uh, oh, okay. Me. Is it? Uh... Ah, I said the blind man. Oh, he's in the ready. He's in his car. Oh. I'm not even home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. All right. So. Hey, As, guys, I'll be back in a sec. Developing situation. All right. Okay. All right. Be so. Hey, buddy. No, he so, like. 
I might want to mute your mic, Kane. No. You're good. I'm stepping out. I'm going to talk. I think you didn't mute yourself. But yeah. So as as uh, Kilgo's walking, JP's right there with him. Clarence starts walking. He starts catching up with Kilgo. And y'all just see, yeah, yeah, y'all don't hear it, but this is the conversation that uh, Clarence is trying to talk to Kilgo about. The only people that can hear it is JP, Kilgo, and Clarence. Clarence right, just looked right, at him. Sit right there. Guys, I will be back in a second. I got a call for some help. I just took a gun away from somebody. Oh, okay. You might want to mute your mic. Okay. So, so he, he tells Kilgo, he's like, Kilgo, are you okay? What's going on with you? I'm fine. I just want this fucker dead. And I can't do shit about it. He looks at his face. And there, there in his face, his mask is tor- like torn. Like torn off. And he sees his real face. And it's like getting more menacing. His eyes is getting more bloodshot. His face face is look like it's being burned it's like what is going on with you brother Kilgo just looks over and y'all see this happen he literally looks back at Clarence and it's like I am fine and he pushes Clarence straight toward straight back to y'all and y'all see Clarence just hit the RV like imagine okay imagine a catapult facing a wall he pushed him all the way back to y'all A little bit of shake, a little bit of shake of the RV, a little bit of the shake of the RV, causing Dylan to like move around a little bit. Lee, what you what you think of that? I go over to Clarence and just look at him and say, "Are you okay?" Clarence just like looks at his chest and it's like a it's like a a a print of something on his chest and it's pushed in and he's breathing hard. He's like what, what's going on with him? He didn't like what I had to tell him. I just need to come. I just need to sit down. <sighs> so, this is going on, and y'all hear Kilgo, but it doesn't sound like Kilgo. He tells Kane, he yells out that Kane, Kane, get the fuck down from here. And Kane just like hears the voice and he just goes down. Like he gets off of the he gets off of the church. And Kill goes like. Uh, JP, no, JP hears Kilgo and he's like, Where's the bastard? Takes my son. Then I can't do shit about it because of him. 
I'm done listening. You know. yeah. Yes. You need to take a breath and think about what your next action is going to be. I will. Oh, I'll take a breath already. I'll take his lungs. I'll take his arms. And I'll take everything he holds dear. But going in there half assed, angry. Going in there half-assed and angry isn't going to do you anything. We'll get your son back. But if you go in there angry, you're going to get more than one of us killed. Including yourself. Fine. I lost two sons myself. We're gonna get your son back. Kyogo. Kyogo. Yes. Look at me. He turns around and he looks at you. It's like. Do you remember our compensation? When we first sat down and truly talked. He starts remembering a little bit. You remember how I didn't give a fuck? about anything do you remember that yes and remember what i called you he chuckles a little bit <laughs> yes no I'm level-headed. I'm trying to be conscious of what I do. Even with what you fucking gave me, I'm not fucking doing psychopathic shit. The reason why you're doing it is exactly why I called you what I called you. Because what you are dealing with and what you are going through is that fear I was talking about. You're fearful. If you want to admit it or not, you are fearful of one thing. You are fearful of losing your son. You can act all big and bad, just like I said, all those many months ago. It still holds true today. Now, I'm pretty sure the last thing you want to do even above getting your child killed is to prove what I said was right. Do you really want to do that? If you want to prove me right, then go on in there. Have asked. But if you don't, Stand the fuck down and let's fucking strategize. So what's it gonna be? 
because either way it goes. I can't believe I'm about to fucking say this. I'm going in with you. So what is it going to be? He just like looks over at you, looks at JP. Don't look at me. <laughs> he looks, he looks, and he's like, "Fine." Do you want to? Do you want to prove me right? Prove me right. Go ahead. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Don't look at me. Look at your daddy. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Sorry, Let's I go. Trying, you know, loosen up the hmm. Let's strategize. <clears throat> I thought so. He he starts walking back, and he's staring at Lee. Lee. Yes. The next time you talk to him, you tell him that Kilgo's got his number. You can tell him yourself. All right, now that we got all that shit out of the way, how the fuck are we going to go about doing this? Any plans? I told Kilgo the one thing I was mainly told is we have to be mindful of that church and don't let Cain go in because he won't come out. Did he say who? He just told me not to let Kane in. And if he does, he's not stepping foot out. Mm. You know he's cryptic. I think JP is also just watching the arrows fly over his head. The zombies go down in front of him. Well. I know what. I think I can do. Who was that? JP. Yeah, what's up? How many more of those bombs can you make? I got just the one right here, and then Hugo brought a whole bunch of grenades out from somewhere, so. Do me a favor. You want the bomb? Yes. <laughs> he hands you the propane tank with a, a, a little grenade that's duct taped to, the, to it. All you gotta do is pull the pin and drop it wherever you're gonna drop it. Do we know Legba's in there, though? We're gonna find out. Now, what we're going to do is lob as many grenades as you can to clear me a hole to that door. Who's got the grenades again? I've got better stealth than you. I can sneak over there without them noticing. Kugo just looks looks at y'all. Looks at Clarence who's still holding his chest. And he's like, I've got a better idea. He goes up to Clarence. Clarence looks looks at Kugo and he's He's, first of all, he got rocked by his own brother, and he's like, 
scared, but like trying to figure out what, why the fuck. Kilgo just looks over and he's like, sorry about that, brother. But I got a plan. Might work, might not. He looks, he looks back at Dylan and he, he says this to her, Dylan, how many of you think you shot down? Dylan. Dylan. Bonus action on mute. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she she calls back down. She's like, the door is almost clear. All right. What the hell? Sorry, my best friend just texted me something. I'm like, what the hell did she just say to me? <laughs> Kill go no. look. She sent me something saying, my dad wrote a porno she's listening to. Season one, episode one. Uh, <laughs> wow. What? Yeah, this is the shit my best friend sends me. <laughs> Kilgo has this one plan that might work, might not. And he's like, well, he looks at Quentin and he's like, I think she deserves a little ride, don't you think? Who? That's my it's about now. <laughs> Quentin, like uh, Kilgo looks at uh, looks at Clarence is like Clarence. I want you to protect Lee. And, and the thing is, the all right, out of out of the game. Every time he looks at uh, every time Kilgo looks at uh. Uh, JP, he has a slick name from every single fucking time. <laughs> he has a what? He has a slick name from every time. Like, you call him uh, Colonel Sanders, uncle. <laughs> he just looks at JP. He looks at JP and he's like, hey, Farmer Dale. <laughs> what the hell? You're going to be with me. He does that. Don't mind it. I'm just waiting for him to call me Doug Dimidone, owner of the Dimsdale Dimidone. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he looks he looks down at the Tommy gun. He cocks it and lock and loads and says, "All right, and I'm with you." All right. So he he looks at both both you and her. He's like. Uh, one other thing. Yeah, what's up? Don't be a, don't be afraid of what y'all gonna see. And he starts laughing, like, like very fucked up. He's like, <laughs> okay. Before we do this, I want to try something. All right. I look over to Lee. Um. Lee. Hmm. Do you trust me? <laughs> well, I gotta hear this. I trust you more than my son right now. <laughs> Get me into the Jabberwocky's mind. What? Get me into the Jabberwocky's mind. Kilgo just looks over and it's like, and I thought I was fucking crazy. I'm gonna have to look for a lot of different powders for that one. I know I can work wonders, miracles. That's gonna cost you extra. <laughs> well, never mind. Hold on. And I close my eyes. And, I, and I'm just hoping and, and praying that this works. And I just say, Pfft. 
Do you hear me? I know you do. Speak. You hear, you hear a voice. And he, and it's a voice that you know. You actually think that you don't need me. Now you do. <laughs> That's been all. kill you. You think that? <laughs> oh, you and your friends are going to be delightful meals to me. <laughs> Is the baby safe? Oh. Look at mighty Quinn. Caring for someone other than himself. Is the baby safe? Oh, he's, he's safe. Oh, he's really safe. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm tired of this fucking cat in mouse game. Come out and fight me. Addiction of my church. <laughs> no. You come in here. And if you <laughs> want to see this child alive, then all of you come in. And you better hurry because... Shut your goddamn mouth. Shut the fuck up. Because I'm getting sick of you. Come the fuck out. And stop being a bitch. We are going to end this right the fuck now. I beat up an innocent man. Because I thought he was you. Oh, Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. Did your... Did your good witch ever taught you one simple rule of going in someone's brain? <laughs> Call her that again. Oh, what? Mind you, does it really hurt? <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. And I'm gonna, who, who, I'm gonna try some fucking bullshit. <laughs> and I fucking hope it fucking works. All right. You tell me as I return the favor. 
and I try to ch take control. <laughs> and I just scratched the side of his fucking face too. <laughs> just no. like he did me. <laughs> Please let this shit work. Roll. <laughs> Roll for... That bean beautiful bean footage. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm I'm going to say this. Roll for intimidation. Do I have my rage? Fuck, I didn't rage. You don't Shit. have your rage anymore. Fuck. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> mm. Roll for this. intimidation. You got this. Drum roll. Drum roll. Fuck! 12, 12, 12, 12. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so so he feels a little bit of a twinge <laughs> he feels a little bit of a twinge right at his I would say his center lobe and he just like he starts giggling he's like <laughs> think you can play me how about i do you a favor and you feel right in the center of your head a scratch coming from the top like the top of your head all the way to your brow kilgo sees kilgo sees quentin just standing there and this freaking Looked like a bullet wound making him bleed from the top of his head. It's like, oh shit. Lee, what's wrong with him? I have to go in. No. I'm going to have to get into Quentin's mind. Oh. You see? I just stand there, my eyes start rolling into the back of my head. While you're in there, can you pull this place up? <laughs> Kilgo just looks over at uh, JP and is like, do not fucking question this. Trust on this. Uh, I don't understand all this mumbo jumbo, so I'm just going with it. Yeah. <laughs> so. The Jabberwocky is like messing with Quentin. He's like, Nice. How about I mess with your fingernails? Peace oh. by peace. And I know this is going to sound fucked up. Not the fingernails. He takes, he takes his, like his sh sharp fingernails. Oh. oh, and he starts like getting Quentin's fingernail, like his pinky fingernail. Okay, all right, hold on. If he could do that, can I just try it again? <laughs> you can try. You can try. I'm getting into your mind here. Okay, I'm gonna be fucking with this guy. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm coming in. 15 15 can I as do he tries as he can tries to mess with go ahead go ahead no 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 was it successful like can i try something it, it was successful okay like it was a little bit of success so as he takes your finger as he takes your pinky fingernail you just like yank it back and as you as you yank it back like yank your hand back you accidentally hit lee motherfucker <laughs> you accidentally hit lee and you look over and you see lee fuck lee I was just trying to have some fun before we end this shit. 
the Jabberwock, you see Glee, and he's like, Oh, the little witch. <laughs> oh, I can smell that death on you. <laughs> You're worried about the child. Oh, your little witchcraft hocus pocus shit does not matter to me anymore. <laughs> oh. Does the big bad wolf not realize? I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> While this is happening, can I can I do some something? Because it was all part of the plan. Yeah, you could try. While my while my eyes are closed, I want to get my hand to go. Oh uh, yeah, Just, trying to shake yourself awake? No, no, it's to tell them to go now, like. Uh, we're in the mine. We're in the mine. Mm -hmm. I want to get out of You're miming your, yourself to tell them to go in. Yes. Kilgo just looks over. It's like, all right. Y'all ready? Let's go. Uh, okay. Do I need to roll for stealth for that? or <clears throat> You roll for stealth. Roll for stealth. Dylan, you're gonna come with us, or you're gonna stay up there? Uh, <clears throat> I was gonna say during this whole time she was like climbing down <laughs> off of the RV. Now that the door is clear, um, twenty-two, bitch, twenty and... fucking two. <laughs> no, I'm not muted. All right, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we hear you. Like what the hell? Um, yeah, she climbed down. The door is clear, and. Uh, yeah, she's just like, hey, oh, I'll, uh, as long as I can hide behind uh, all you meat shields, I'll be absolutely fine. So, <laughs> Kilgo looks over, it's like, all right, you're going with Clarence. He goes over to Clarence and he whispers something in his ear. Like, he just whispers something in his ear. And y'all see Clarence pissed the fuck off. Like, he's royally pissed, like, He's like, all right, little girl, you come with me now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hugo just went ahead and angered. She's like, no, 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 no. I am not going with somebody who is pissed off like that because you are going to make rash decisions. Either you stay here uh, or you settle down. That's that's the reason why he he made him pissed off. Trust on this. <laughs> Trust on this. Hugo's He's... not supposed to go inside. So... It's Kane who's not supposed to go inside. Kane. I was told Kane. Kane. Yeah. Not Hugo. Yeah. Kane. Oh. So. Right. So you see, Clarence getting so fucking pissed that you start seeing like eight legs. <laughs> well, yeah, eight like eight, eight legs just. <laughs> Pop out of his his uh his uh hips, and then he his eyes just roll back. His freaking face changes into like some kind of undead spider thing, and he looks back at you. Is like, get on. That's. Somebody want to build a in yeah. on what's going on in there? Kil she, Kilgo told you to. Kilgo told you to get down from the ch the the church, and you got down. A lot of fucking shit. Kilgo almost had a melt fucking down. And now you're with now you with the other people. Uh, in and he's telling, and Clarence is literally telling you, telling you, 
telling y'all to get on him. So me and Kilgo get on his back? No. You, JP. Fuck, why do I keep forgetting the name? <laughs> Dylan? Dylan. Fuck. I have a cousin named Dylan. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Dylan tells Dylan, JP, and you to get on on uh, his back. And when he, when he, like, transforms, his back is, like, the same. It looks like an undead version of a... Black Widow. So Kenneth's just sitting on his back with an L on his head like, come on, bitch, ride on Spider Boy. <laughs> spider Tank, Spider Tank. So, so, as y'all get on him, Peach is just sitting there eating popcorn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just being Pink. forgotten in the background. It's all right. <laughs> You're preggers. You have to stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, to- actually, before you run off, she says while eating some popcorn that she magically um, acquired. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, thank you for the popcorn sugar. I was feeling a little hungry. There should be some she cheddar in there. <laughs> I did not. Ooh, I didn't know that bag. I didn't know that bag had a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that pre-pop stuff. It's pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> hey, sweetie, now that you're a big giant uh, arthropod, uh huh. Yes, I know big words. Um, <laughs> do you she by know chance? It, babe. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going with that. You nasty. I like big. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Oh, her and that nightstick. <laughs> hey, don't be talking about me like that. <laughs> that was some so, sweaty uh, nights that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I dropped my popcorn. <laughs> you also dropped you, you also dropped something. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Now, boy, don't you act like you didn't enjoy it. I played the fifth. I, I don't uh-huh. even know what's going on. No, no. So now, wait a minute before you before you go running off. Um, I have a quick question. Do you no. by chance have venom? He looks over at you. He looks over at you and looks back at Kilgo, and you see him just like spit. He like spit at the ground where Kilgo is, and the the ground it is literally acid. Juju's like still sitting in the RV. Yeah. Now, uh, no, I'll get to Juju. I'll get to Juju. Now, DM, as I'm looking at this acid that is now on the ground, is it eating at the ground by chance? What was that? Is the acid eating at the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I would like to take one of my bolts and poke the acid and just like sit it there because I want to see if it eats it. The tip. I want to see if it eats the tip. Get roll it. for investigation. <laughs> <laughs> roll for in- roll the beautiful language. Um, why is it thinking? It's thinking. Why not? Because it doesn't know if it wants to eat the tip or. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay it, it, it's like hmm should I eat the tip or the other tip <laughs> Jesus these are the questions that's in my mind <laughs> mm, I got a 14 giggly I, the tip or not the tip <laughs> that is the question <laughs> you let's see you you take a sample of it Oh shit! No, you no, take no. A snap. I just put I put the the arrow, the the tip of the bolt, the metal ah, part, gotcha. into the ass. I want to see if it eats it. So you take the tip, and it starts eating away at the arrow. Damn! All right, fine then. 
Uh, she's gonna pull out a little tiny empty glass vial and she's just gonna drop it in the acid and watch. Kyogo looks at you and like. <laughs> Kyogo just looks at you and is like, what is up with you in liquidy forms? Shut up! I am investigating. I have a plan. Let me be a mad scientist if I can't be a doctor. So, Kyo Kyogo looks at uh, Clarence and he's like, Clarence, the way is open. The way is open. Clarence just looks over. He's like, he looks over at the gang that's sitting on his freaking back and he's like, if y'all want to shoot some damn zombies, y'all can. Okay. <laughs> Kane's going to unfold the uh, Marine Corps battle standard from his backpack. Yep. Put it on the pole, the collapsible pole, and wave it around while one-handing the LMG and shooting everything in sight. <laughs> so, Clarence just literally runs like a fucking spider. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. Hey, and he's running. Spiders are fast. He's, <laughs> huh? Spiders are fast. Oh yeah, he starts running, and y'all are going to shoot the hell out of these. How many fucking undead motherfuckers y'all can? So, Kilgo looks at Peach and says, "Peach, how many of those vows you have?" Um, well, sweetie, more than you want to know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you have a carrying case for that? Um, I have a small one, but it doesn't hold all my empty ones. All right. He looks over and he's like, well, give me some of those. Mm -hmm. And I have a plan for both of us. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what my plan is. So, so, my old formula doesn't work on his skin, but that doesn't mean it don't work internally. If I can get something like this nasty, acidy stuff here, I'm thinking I might be able to use it to pierce his skin and get this formula that I've been working on inside of him so it will kill him. Mm -hmm. That's my plan. But here. Here's some, she's gonna hand him a, a small bag, like a, almost like a coin purse, and it's just full of tiny little glass vials. You just gave Kilgo a fanny pack. <laughs> I did. So, Kilgo gets, gets there, it's like, hey Peach, got a quick question. Mm, yes, sir. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, sometimes. Good. You see Kilgo, you see this one tail coming out of Kilgo from his back, and it it's the same tail that y'all saw, that it's long and leathery with a spade at the end of it. And he looks at Peach and is like, Now we fight. And then now, you see... You see this horn coming out of Kilgo's head and it's curling up like a ram. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And it's, I guess we found the true Jersey devil. <laughs> Kilgo oh, no, basically. Kilgo basically grows these like 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 uh leather leather fucking wings on his arms it's like you want to drop them fine and he just like flies <laughs> oh god damn it Picks? he's batman <laughs> by her freaking shoulders. Not trying to pierce her fucking shoulder, but enough to like pick her up.
and he has like a couple of vowels in his hand and he's going up with peach while Quentin and Lee is still standing there with fucking rolled up eyes and all of that this shit is happening well, I have to admit, this ain't the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done. <laughs> he, looks over, he looks over at you, and he's like, he's hovering around the big freaking field of fucking zombies. And he's saying, drop them! Drop them! This is fucking weird. Oh, well. She's just gonna throw these vials like if she was a flower girl at a wedding. <laughs> as this is going Bones on away, dearies. as this is going on Clarence just like stops <laughs> in the middle of this whole fucking field and y'all still shooting these fucking zombies and y'all see this bat looking some bitch with Peach just flying around <laughs> And Clarence just like says this to y'all. It's like, am I high or are y'all high? <laughs> but I feel Dylan, just- Dylan on his back, and she's like, um, kind of on her knees a little bit, just to try to give herself a little bit of advantage point because she wants mm-hmm. to stand up. She's got like Ranger Rick shooting with a flag waving in the air behind her. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she's 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 being wary of his gun, and while she's trying to shoot her arrows and stuff like that, and she's like, "You're worried about him doing that." Meanwhile, you just sprouted eight legs. Seriously? Well, I'm just concerned are because are there any massive boulders near, uh, nearby? Any what? Massive boulders. boulders. Oh no. This is just flatlands. Flatlands. Alright, what is there around? Zombies. Like a whole field of zombies. What's that? I was like, zombies, a giant church sign, Mormons. Yeah. Yeah. Undead Mormons. What kind of... uh, Undead Mormons? (laughs) What are we looking at? Is it just... Wide open field? Oh, yeah. Huh. It's just wide open field. And this one church just right there with the crossroads right next to it. Well, not okay. right next to it, but further back. I'm going to slide off of Clarence's back and sprint right out into the open, yelling at the zombies the whole way. And, uh... He's going to try to pull as many of them as he can. A certain distance out in the field, he's going to stab the battle banner down into the ground and stand underneath it while he just unloads the LMG into it. All right. So. As he jumps down, Dylan will change her, her course to anything that comes close to him so that, you know, Meanwhile, he's got the LNG, but she's also going to start shooting things that are, like, coming up behind him when he's mm-hmm. shooting in one direction and stuff like that. But yeah, she is, exactly. she is you, you're going to hear her mutter, like, what a stupid son of a bitch at the same time. Just, you hear Kane out there in the middle of the field <laughs> saying the people. Marine for him. <laughs> well, he's just mowing down fucking zombies, just... You fucking basic ass Marine. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) He insane. So as this is happening, Kilgo Lily sees y'all just handling y'all shit. And he's like, Peach, I'm gonna I'm gonna land you over there. I hope you don't mind the fall. Now, what do you mean you're going to land me over there? You ain't going to drop me. Don't you even think about dropping me. He literally... The thing is, he literally just... He literally just, like, does that whole 
like a a bird that caught a fish. <laughs> he just like throws you up in the air. <laughs> and like and like wait until you got real close and he just like grabs you and puts you right next to Clarence. <laughs> Well, you're gonna hear a very girly scream, <laughs> and then everything will go real quiet, and then she's gonna be on the ground. Yeah. And she's just gonna have big bug eyes, and she's gonna be breathing really shallow but hard at the same time. I'm gonna reach out and help her. If, if she is coming with us, help her climb on top of Clarence. Yeah. So Clarence is like looking back, looking back at Peach. Is like, Miss Peach, are you okay? You need some air? I, I think I got plenty of air, honey. I think I got plenty of air. So as this is going on during this whole ordeal, back with Quentin and Lee. The Jabberwocky is like look, walking towards Lee in Quentin's mind. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We went into his mind. Uh, y'all in his mind and he's walking towards Lee and he just looks at Lee and he's like So, little witch. Who do you miss the most? I sense nothing. And you. And he's his eyes just wide up. He's like, oh, I see you. You really miss who you will miss the most. And he just literally grabs Quentin by the neck. Like, you'll miss him the most, would you? (laughs) Especially if I twist his neck. Can I transform in in his mind? (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) No. Because the Jabberwocky's so cocky, and he's just because he's just looking me in the eyes and not even paying attention to my own movements. Mm-hmm. I grab my my venomous dagger with sleight of hand and right. attempt to stab him in the arm before he grabs onto Quentin. As you do that, as you do that, there's like another arm like another arm reach over and grabs your arm and he looks back at you slowly with a bone like bone cracking noise and he's like this is my world you are in my domain (laughs) I can do whatever I damn well please and your little can I roll sleight of hand though to see if it connects? Yeah, yeah. As she's doing that, can I try something? <laughs> you could try <laughs> something. Nice try, fucker. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. Hmm. Oh yeah. He's a humanoid form, right? Yeah. I try to... You know what? Yeah. Because this is all I got. Mm-hmm. Now, is that some way to talk to a lady? You soft as intimidating little bitch boy. 
Let her go. Can I roll for intimidation? Yep. <sighs> Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Come the fuck on. 25. Oh. <laughs> and as I say it, as I say it, I say, you let my fucking woman go. No! Fine. I'll let her go. And I'll let you go, too. And he just, like, chunks you far in the darkness of his mind. And he lets, lets go of uh, Lee. And the dagger, as he lets her, lets her go, the dagger literally pierces, like, goes straight in his hand. What is this now? Wait, so even with the dagger, he he still grabbed me? He basically, y'all are in his mind, so he could do whatever he damn well please. But the thing was, he grabbed you by one of his hand and another hand just grabbed uh, Lee, like out of him. So he's oh. literally... He's literally fucking with y'all. And the dagger goes straight in his hand. And he looks at Lee and it's like, You actually hurt me. <laughs> Your little soldier boy is going to meet his own fate. But let me play with you. As, as he does that, can I wake up? You could try. Because he essentially forced me out of his mind, right? Yeah. Well, wouldn't that mean I woke up then? Oh yeah. I right, so, so I'm awake then. You see, what you see in front of you is a big ass fucking spider with your friends on the back of him. Chill go flying in the air like a big ass fucking goblin. <laughs> and, well, now that I see that, I look at Lee. And and hoping that she can hear me. So I, I go forehead to forehead with her and I say I'm gonna fucking save you. And then I transform. So you transform so that demonoid undead freaking thing and I just beeline it because I'm not about to have this shit <laughs> I'm not about to have my worst fear come true nope so, I'm so going what are you toe gonna... to toe with the Jabberwocky in its mind. So, because it doesn't know some of the things I, the other stuff I can do. Mm -hmm. Can I use my stealth and deception to fuck yes. with him? Yes. <laughs> Twenty-seven on stealth. <laughs> no, fuck you in your own mind. Fuck yeah, twenty-nine, oh, yeah. nat twenty. Fuck oh. kick his ass. <laughs> you give him images and shit in his mind, 
which literally makes him more pissed off. And then, and then he looks back at you and he's like, all right, I've had enough of this toy shit. Oh, you don't you, like when it comes back to you and bites you in the ass? He looks at you and he smiles and he has the fucking Jeepers Creepers looking smile. And he's like, you wouldn't want me to do this, would you? And he shows you Legba. Like baby Legba. Oh, no. And he just like, oh, such a beautiful little boy. Such a innocent little child. It'd be a shame if I do this. And he literally he literally looks at you picking up Legba and he just like does his uh, Pennywise shit and he just like I'm like I'm gonna believe all your mumbo jumbo bullshit. You should. <laughs> can I can I roll for perception? Yeah. Nineteen. You know it's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him trying to threaten every fucking alum at all. I've lost enough in my life to know what's real and what's full of a lot of horseshit. And that's all you are. You want to play with what scares my friends and me? Let's see what you're afraid of. As this continues, as this continues, outside of this whole thing, Kilgo looks looks down and he sees Quentin transformed. And he's like, Good! You joined the fucking party finally. Shut the fuck up and come on. As I scale to the beat line and towards the door. He, so the group I would I would say that these zombies are squishy as fuck. Like they're squishy, like a toothpick can kill them. <laughs> you sent out gummy and bears. What the fuck? Gummy bears, gummy worms, sperm. <laughs> oh Anything can actually crazy. hurt them. Even Peach's, <laughs> even Peach's urge to handle Quentin can hurt them. <laughs> Mouse could fart and hurt them. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Well, my goodness, so, I had no idea it was that powerful. <laughs> so, 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 I would say that. I would say that y'all killed a good bit of them, caught like completely. Kilgo is literally having a ball. He's like picking up, he's going down, picking up one of the zombies, breaking them in half. And as he's saying this, he's yelling, and as he's doing this, he's yelling at y'all, and he's like, Picking up, he's like, she loves me. <laughs> Picks it up and up, she loves me not. <laughs> <laughs> and he's having a ball. Quentin is heading towards the church. Y'all are heading towards the church. But when y'all get there, 
when y'all get there, the door is guarded by this big motherfucking zombie that has a fucked up neck. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> And he just looks at he looks at Kane, and he's like, "He doesn't even have time. He doesn't even have fucking time to process it." As I yeah. Fucking grab his fucking face. Move the fuck out of the way. He grab like as soon as you grab his face, he literally grabs your your like your claw, and he's just like. Little one, and he breaks like he breaks your your arm. How big is this motherfucker? Because you say I'm big as fuck too. He's he's, he's a decent uh, sized motherfucker, but he's strong as shit. He's like a he's like a tight. through his neck again. I could have described this motherfucker. He's like a tight end for the Cowboys. No brain. Uh, <laughs> but he literally grabs Quentin and he's like, he breaks his he breaks his arm, and he looks at Kane. He's not he's not focusing on any one of y'all except Kane. But if y'all get in his way, he does shit. And he's kind of walking him and wagging him a finger like, come on, fuckface. Time for round two. He just walks. He just he's walks gonna, over. He's out with the battle banner fluttering in the wind behind his bag. And just dump a burst from the LMG at this fucker's fucking He just literally, as soon as you do that, he grabs... He grabs whatever is in his neck and he just like looks at it and starts biting biting it. He's biting bullets. That's what I thought. But I only need to make a big enough hole to do this. And he fucking <laughs> whips the other barrel grenade launcher from his fucking assault rifle and mm -hmm. he goes to fire it into that hole in his fucking neck. <laughs> As soon as he does, as soon as you do that, it's, he's not phased at fucking all. Come on, buddy. And, and Clarence is like right there. He's right there trying, he's like telling y'all, telling the ones that's on his back. It's like, y'all go into the church. Y'all go into church. He's distracted. Go, go, go. Kane's just gonna start the field with this fucker behind him. Come on, buddy, come on. JP's gonna take so, the lead and the run in first. Alright. Are y'all going in? I'm wait a minute, so did he throw me after he did that or some <clears throat> shit? He threw he threw you like he broke your arm and he threw you into the fucking church. I put it back in the socket. All right. So the door is wide fucking open. This big behemoth is not worried about no one except Kane. <laughs> and uh, Clarence is like saying, go in the church, go in the church now. It's open. Well, I'll, and Clarence just looks over at y'all. He looks over at y'all. He's like, I'll handle whatever is left over here. I'm running in. Who's going in with me? Well, I'm already in there, so. All I got to say is Kane is one nimble motherfucker. <laughs> so who's all going into the church? JP. All right. Dylan. JP's well, in. 
fucking mind games with the fucking Jabberwocky. <laughs> yeah. So y'all well, all going. Where I'm going, I guess I'm going with everybody else. There's power in numbers. Yeah. So. I, I, so while he's dealing with that, mm-hmm. there's a Jabberwocky. I, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Oh, okay. I'll get to it. It's going to be good, though. <laughs> so, Kane is going one on one with this big ass motherfucker. Uh, hey, uh, DM, how long, how tall is the grass in this field? The grass, I would say it, it's, it's short. It's just regular freaking sun grass. I was going to say, is it tall enough to crouch in? No. Damn. All right. Not so unless you want to crouch. Not unless you want to crouch in the field of fucking zombies. <laughs> Good point. But uh, Kane is just going to fucking run that belt on that LMG dry, and then he's going to fucking throw it at the fucking behemoth once it's out of ammo. And he, <laughs> he, goes, he goes following you. And he's knocking all the other zombies away. And he's just following you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. This way. Here, dumbass, 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 dumbass. As- I, just wanna, I just wanna say, as somebody that's like Hugo, <laughs> I'm not fucking getting shit out of this fucking deal. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the thing. You're still learning this shit. (laughs) You still like, like, you know how to do it. It's just shit is still a little bit newish. You still got your training wing. Yeah. And when Kilgo try to tell, try to show you how to do it, you basically tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you still got your True. wheels. Yeah. They're nice and pink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They but have those, some the, uh, the little uh, gl- the shimmery little tassels on the handlebars and everything. Because I'm finna be like, because I'm finna be like, you know what? Doom Slayer mode. <laughs> Doom Slayer mode. <laughs> Get my goddamn trusty ass sawed off and just load, unload on this motherfucker. So, Man, this is the bullshit. <laughs> y'all just, as y'all are in the church, y'all look back and y'all just see Clarence in the spider form just handling fucking zombies like nothing. And he's pissed. He's like throwing zombies around, using fucking acid in his mouth. And he looks back at y'all. It's like, oh, I'm fine. Y'all just go. But yeah, I get out of my whatever the fuck form and I go back down. And I'm like, you heard him. Let's fucking go. As y'all are going in, back to Lee. The Jabberwocky is like messing with her, so trying to fucking get every fucking thing. And then she shows him a glimpse of what he's afraid of. And he's, he's like, there's a glimpse of uh, him before, before he was the Jabberwocky. The motherfucker was <laughs> this, this. This is the funniest shit. The motherfucker in his life was a zookeeper <laughs> who basically got turned down. Well, basically got fired due to the fact that he didn't believe in in animals need to be in cages and it's the one 
it's not a fear, but it's like the one thing that crossed his mind. So he goes to a, like you see the glimpse of it. He goes to a bar and he's drinking and you hear the Jabberwock, he says, no, 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 no. She's just fucking with me. She's just fucking with me. As this is going on, as he sees himself at a bar, this one guy who has a gun in his hand, who has a gun in his hand with a mask on, he's he's going inside and he's like, everybody move. This is a robbery. Put your hands up where I fucking can see you. And he looks back at the guy who's sitting at the bar who is the Jabberwocky. And the dude just turns around. It's like, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put my hands up. Five okay. minutes. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I just heard that parent in there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we, got, we got the mother tone. <laughs> God damn, I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm like that all the time, don't worry. <laughs> but, but, um, the dude is got his hands up and he's like, okay, right, just don't, don't, don't hurt me. I, I lost my job, okay? I just, I'm sorry. The dude just goes up to him and is like, He's like, well, I know this is, is a robbery, but how about I just have some fucking fun with this? He starts shooting up everyone in the place except this one guy, and he looks at the guy straight in the face. It's like, this was all your fault. All of it. <laughs> and the dude looks up, and he's like, who, who the hell are you? Who, wh- why are you going to kill all these people? And he takes off his mask. And you and Lee can't believe who she sees. The person that she sees is Clarence. And he looks at the Jeff Walker when he was there, when he was human, and he's like, this was all your fault. All of it. He he wipes off the gun. It's like, nobody's gonna believe you. Here, catch. He takes the gun and he grabs the gun to him. And you see Clarence just run out of this bar. Police gets over there. And they arrest him. They arrest the Jabberwocky. And what he fears the most is in the prison. It's in the jailhouse. He's just sitting in a cell with a in, with an inmate right there. And he's like, the inmate is like, you know what? I'm not gonna protect you in here. I hope you know that. I I I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. He gets off, he gets off the bed, and Lee, you see the face of Kilgo. And he's like, this was all your fault, all of it. And as that's going on, oh shit, fuck, that was a letter. (laughs) As that is going on, you see Kilgo just stabs this dude with a shank and he pass the dude passes out a few minutes later few like in his mind he he sees it and you hear the Jeff walk he's like she's just she's just fucking with me <laughs> and he's getting he's getting a little bit scared and then you see how the Jabberwocky became the Jabberwocky. Scientists finds the finds his 
finds him in the hospital and he writes he signs his name into something because they were going to take care of him and they took care of him and then that's when the outbreak happened and he got bit by a damn zombie while he was getting taken care of with the medicine and all of that he became a Jeb- he became the Jabberwocky you see and the one thing that feared him the most is the two people who was the cause of that to happen to him Lee, you don't know like you didn't know that Clarence and Kilgo knew the Jabberwocky before he knew before he was a, before he became who he is and the one thing that feared him was those two oh poor baby scared of a couple guys The Jabberwocky just like kneel, kneels down a little bit. He's like, <sighs> wait a minute. Oh, poor puppy wants to get his dishes in. I know those boys. He just like looks around a little bit. And he's like, wait a minute. He gets up and he looks at you at the face. He's like, wait, wait. No, you wait, boy. What's this? You messed with the wrong family. <laughs> he looks at you. He's like, this is a distraction. He- oh, you think my son? Sons are a distraction. <laughs> I saw them faces. I know them faces. If you're afraid of them, <laughs> you should be afraid of their mama. <laughs> Next thing you know, you you hear like you hear some whistling coming from behind him, and you smell some cigarette smoke also, like cigar smoke. Hello there. <laughs> what is this? Both death and Pablo Legba shows up uh, death was like oh it's been so long since I met somebody like you isn't that right papa oh yes sir oh we're just waiting for the day we're just waiting for that moment it's like Jabberwocky, yeah? Is that what you're calling yourself? He looks, the Jabberwocky looks back at Lee. He's like, I'll kill this one. <laughs> Papa Leg was like, kill. <laughs> Son, you're already fucked. <laughs> you ain't got no cards to play. You ain't got nothing. Now, be a little good boy and Play dead. This is just in my head. Jesus what can I do from the outside? Oh, I can't wait for this. What can I do from the outside? It's like, what? Why is this? What is Can I like, use my stealth and grab him by the throat without him expecting it? Roll for stealth. <laughs> Give me that bean footage. <laughs> 23 bitches. You grabbed him by oh. the fucking throat. <laughs> In his oh mind, 
Oh my god, let me do it. Oh, let what? me do it. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. So, so, as you grab him by the throat, Papa Leva basically goes up. It's like, oh, well, you know what's the funny thing about that Jabberwocky is because there's one person on the outside, well, one person actually, that knows your real name. Oh, oh. <laughs> you think we gonna forget about that night? Mm. That one special night? <laughs> Death just looks over, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget at all. You're the reason why Kilgo girl got killed. What? Oh yeah. You come in the middle of the dark, you saw a beautiful woman and you just slash her. Oh. He is going to be so damn pissed. And top it all off. <laughs> you're the reason why Peach. You're the reason why Peach lost her family. Oh, she is going to be so thankful for you. What? Oh, oh, and to top it all off, it, Papa Legba just leans over and looks at Lee. He's like, Lee, should we talk about JP a little bit more? Oh, and his two handsome boys? Mm hmm. When the outbreak came out, JP was. Handling his own business, yeah? You're the yes. reason why his sons died, wasn't it? I, I don't know. I don't know what you... Oh, I know perfectly, son. I am death incarnate. Oh, let's not forget. He took away my Marie. Oh, yes. He was there. Well, he wasn't really there, but he was there. Oh, another vile person. You, sir, was there with Dylan, wasn't you? You plan all of these murders, all of these killings on whose name you you think you're a god son you have no place in this line you killed murdered dylan's whole damn family and death here oh death had to do some what you call it now paperwork Oh, yes. Even though we're in your mind, son, you have no control now. Because I'm going to make damn sure they take a piece of your flesh. And before you even finish anything you have to say now, realize who I am. Realize what I do. I am Papa Legba. And I hate you. As he does that, he's like, now I'll be right back. I got to talk to my new friends. As he walks away, the devil walk is like, no, no, I'll kill that child. 
Dad just looks over at him and is like, you ain't got no pot to piss in, boy. And where are you going? I'll be right there to show you what it means to be dead. As this is going down, outside, all of y'all going into the church, and y'all see, y'all see an empty as look like it's burnt, like burnt chairs, burnt pews, and all that. And in the front, on the pulpit, y'all see, y'all hear uh, Legba crying, like completely crying, and just. And in the on, on the other side, you see the uh, Jabberwocky, and he has cornrows, like he has long cornrows, um, gray skin, shirtless, bruised, and he's sitting down in on this like, un, like dead like this messed up throne like a what a preacher would sit in or whatever like a chair and he's just sitting there and he doesn't know y'all there because it's in his mind he's in his mind Take the baby. and y'all hear something on the roof y'all hear y'all hear something on the roof and something just like like breaking the the stable breaking the staple and it's Kilgo coming down in the church and you hear him say yeah <laughs> you hear him say superhero landing <laughs> and he's he looks back at y'all and he's like what I miss he looks over and he sees the Jabberwocky it's like oh oh he sees his baby is like, so what y'all want to do? I just go up to the Jabberwocky and I say, finish this. And then this is an automatic shotgun now, right? Yeah. I just, as, I just unload. As you pull out Hold your up, gun. Hold up, if he shoots him, I'm gonna, I'm still on the fucker's head. Yeah, just, here's the thing. Oh shit, oh shit, hold on. Here's okay. the thing, back, back that shit up. Back yeah. that shit up. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, so, before he even did that, I was gonna tell the girls to take the baby. Take him. You know what, Dylan will actually go ahead and, yeah, she'll grab Legbo and, uh, Head back out. You too, Peach. Oh, Peach will just follow behind, leaving with the with the um. As yeah. As y'all doing this? <laughs> wow, my brain went blank. <laughs> 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 with Dylan, there we go. <laughs> with Dylan so, and the baby. <laughs> so as y'all doing this, as y'all but, doing this. Um, because you know, Peach was also super felt super guilty about that. She'll also be like telling Peach, like, see, like was fine on the way out and everything else. So yeah. So as y'all doing this, y'all see Clarence walking in, and he's like calming the fuck down. He got a little bit of a he he got a little bit of a a, a scratch, but he's like he looks back at y'all. He's like. It's just a flesh wound, don't worry. And then as he's walking towards like the church inside, y'all hear a voice in your mind. And y'all y'all have this this sensation of cigar smoke in y'all in somewhere. And first it starts with uh, JP. It's like, Mr. JP, you don't know me, but I know you. That monster, 
that's in the church. He killed your sons. Murdered them in cold blood, eating every bit of them. And he goes to Peach. Peach. He killed your family. Every single one of them. Piece by piece. He goes to... He goes to... Um, let's see. He goes to Dylan. I was going to say he, he was going to go to uh, um, Quentin, but I'm going to do it like this. He goes to Dylan... And he's like, Dylan, I hope you hear this. He's the reason why everyone you love is gone. That creature is not, is not supposed to live. He goes to Quentin. Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. I hope you remember my voice. He's the reason why you spent your whole life with an entity. You know how to handle this. You know. Let Kilgo handle this. You just take you just take your time. You just take your time killing them. Is she still in there? Yes. Get her out. Oh, I will. I just wanted to tell all of y'all that. Now, let's handle this our way. And the voice just goes away. Kilgo, Kilgo stands like um, Clarence stands right next to uh, Quentin. Kilgo's on the other side. Kilgo's like, holy shit. Clarence, don't this motherfucker look familiar to you? Well, well yeah. He... Holy shit! <laughs> Ain't that that motherfucker who I'd, who I'd scared shitless? That's my cellmate. Oh. So I know who this is. So this motherfucker takes my kid, threatens my friends, threatens me, and he's still here. Hmm. He looks at Quentin. He's like, Quentin. I just want to get this fucking deal done. Oh, don't worry. It will. No more talking. Let's just fucking do it. You see... Kilgo's mouth wide open, like, hang, like his jaw just slowly opens up. And he's like, I just say, I'm going to eat my pound of flesh. Go ahead. As this is happening, death is right there, like, well, Lee. I think it's time for you to let him go now. Oh, I will. Let me just leave him with one little parting gift. No. No, no. You're so afraid of being trapped and alone. And dealing with your demons. Let's see how you feel being caged up like an animal. 
and I just mentally throw him in one of the like a zoo cage that he hated to see the animals in. No, no, oh, uh, get me out, get me out. Oh, 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 you will be out. You will be out, but you will never find your way. He looks over at Death, looks over at Lee, is like, nice making business with you, Lee. Pleasure making business with you, sir. You can go now. I'll take it from here. My pleasure. So, as that happened, Lee goes right back. Goes right back to where she was. Kilgo, Kilgo is right there, like, opening his mouth. And he's like... I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. And at one brief moment, you see the Jabberwocky opens his eyes. And he's like, no! Clarence Clarence takes one of his claws and just like, like one of his pincers and just jabs it in the Jabberwocky's stomach. And he just leans over. It's like, that's for my man, you son of a bitch. (laughs) Kilgo just like bites into the Jabberwocky's head and just. One more thing. (laughs) He goes inside what's left of the Jabberwocky's head and just pulls out, pulls out like slowly. He's straining to pull out the Jabberwocky's spine. (laughs) And he looks over at Quentin. He's like, you take that to him. And Quentin, we're fucking even. Oh, we're far from even. (laughs) For now. And then I take it, and then I fucking book it back to Lee. As this is happening, as this is happening, um... Clarence still has his freaking pincer inside of Jabberwocky and he's like carrying his body with him backwards and he's looking at Kilgo and as he's doing that um y'all see Kilgo bloody from the face his clothes is all wet and all that and you see Clarence holding the body of Jajabawalki with one of his pincers. And he just like throws it at your feet. He, he, Clarence looks over at y'all and is like, so what y'all want to do with this? So what y'all want to do with this? Well, I'm not there, so. I'm running. Uh, Oh, you run. Still currently outside. Yeah, he's (laughs) I was going to say use the bomb. Use the bomb on the big motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. So as you're running as far as you can away from this big motherfucker, you happen to bump into something. 
and you fall oh, down. Man. What did I bump into? Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be cinematic right here. You bump in to one of his lions. Oh, great! Kitty too. <laughs> the lion just like was about to pounce on you, but then it just like walked, walked, walked backwards. And the big dude is like looking down at you, picks you up by your shirt. <laughs> oh, so he's got me by the front of my armor plate. Yeah. And he's like, uh -oh. he, picks, he picks you up in uh, eye level and he just says one word. Let's go. What he say? He says, little. <laughs> you see yeah, him opening his... There, ladder house. You cut out. Uh, he's, he literally says, he says to you in eye level, little. Oh. Well, uh, you know what I love? Explosives and Kane's just gonna fucking kick a grenade into the motherfucker's mouth while he's holding them. <laughs> As this is going down, he literally he sees it like the grenade is going in his mouth, like it's in there, and the pin is like sticking out of his mouth. Kane's just gonna rip that pin away, <laughs> like bitch. <laughs> And then he's gonna pull the emergency release tab on his body armor and slide away. So, as this happened, the explosion of this fucker, the grenade just bursts this motherfucker's head clean off, and you just see his body just like falls down. And blood is spilled ev uh, everywhere. Kid's gonna hit the ground and not even pay attention. I can go after a fucking kitty cat. <laughs> the cat just sees this happen. Like this is this is like what you could find in movies. He sees that happen to his master. Looks back at you, and he fucking books. <laughs> Alright, Kane's gonna whip out that sniper rifle and try to clip him in the back of the fucking head. Roll for damage. <laughs> Alright, give me one sec. Alright. This is fun. This is fun. Yes, it is. Kane just took the fucking opportunity. Like, <laughs> vulnerable. Vulnerable. <laughs> So, as you, <laughs> you're cutting out a little bit. Boom. You shot. All right. Hang on here. All right. Oh, I thought you already wrote. You wanted me to roll for damage, correct? Yeah. All right. Nothing like driving and playing the DJ. <laughs> Wait, what you got? I should probably roll it. Shouldn't I? I should probably roll the hit first. Yeah. 16 uh 16 to hit and 14 to, uh for damage. All right, you hit. You hit and you you basically shot you basically shot the back leg of this lion so now he's like running but at the same time he's like lipping a little bit and he's running away and he's he's gone like he's Come here, you the, bitch. <laughs> so as as this happened back at the church Kilgo's just like 
leaning over to the dead body of the Jabberwocky. All right, I gotta head out too. Oh, okay. This All was right. fun. Huh? I said this was fun. Oh yeah. Kevin, in the meantime, is gonna fucking pick up his body armor. Have a good one. On. Just yeah. like I need this. As this as this is happening, Kilgo just looks over down at the body of the javel walking and he's like It's over. It's fucking over. He looks back at y'all, he's like The Jabberwocky's name was Joseph. Joseph McCarthy. But now his name is fucking dead. He looks back, he looks at y'all again, he's like, I got my pound of flesh. <laughs> as as y'all see, as y'all see Kilgo walk over, he just like breathes heavenly. Looks back at y'all and he's like, <laughs> looks at Peach. What, uh, which one of y'all are holding the baby? Uh, Dylan. So he looks at, he looks at Dylan. He looks at Dylan and then he looks at Peach and he just looks over he he looks over at y'all and he looks over at his uh, his baby and he's like yeah y'all take care of him okay what are you talking about? Yeah, sugar, what yeah, do you mean by that? Yeah, I'll take care of him. He looks at Clarence. Clarence is like, what the hell you mean? Y'all see it y'all see tears falling down his eyes. Just take care of my son, okay? He slowly walks away and there's still a little bit of zombies, but the zombies are like right there, but they're not paying them no mind. They're paying them no mind. And he's walking. You see him just walking and he's like, he looks up a little bit. He's like, <laughs> I finally did something. <laughs> Claire's is like, Kyogo? Kyogo. And right there, y'all just see him just like fall down to his knees. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh -huh. Kilgo just like falls down to his knees and he's like I'm coming babe 
and he and y'all just see him plot down like plot freaking down the zombies are like getting closer to Kilgo Kilgo's body y'all see Clarence just like no he runs over he runs over and he's like trying to push these zombies away and he's like no not my brother not my brother and as this is happening as this is happening the zombies are take are getting closer to closer to uh clarence and y'all just hear him like no my brother please please um what are y'all gonna do i think that's when jp is gonna start trying to kill as many zombies as he can with the tommy gun and uh he's all right to, he's trying to cover clarence mainly it's just clarence he's gone we need to go So, as you're shooting, what what about the rest of y'all? <laughs> Kane is sitting on the corpse of the big dead fucker outside. Mm -hmm. No, better yet, he's just fucking standing on him and teabagging. Peach is gonna offer to take the baby from Dylan. So Dylan can go help if she wants to. And after Kane is satisfied, Kane is gonna run to the doors of the church. All right. Uh, Dylan's gonna look at Peach and be like, "Are you sure?" Yes, yeah, sugar. I can take care of him. All right, and then yeah, she'll uh, she'll come back. She'll she'll pull the bow back off of off of uh, her back, and you know, yep. So as this is all going down, Clarence is still yelling. He's crying. There's a couple of zombies, like dropping. And Clarence is like trying his best to fucking fight him off away from Kilgo. I think that's when JP will oh. try to move closer to Clarence and try to pull him away. Clarence is like, no, no, no. Wait, is Kilgo dead? Did I miss that part? He basically dropped down in the middle of this whole fucking shit. Gotcha. Clarence was like, no, 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 no. He looks at he looks at JP. He's like, we gotta go. We gotta go back there. He, he might. He might be living. I don't think. So. I don't know why you just feel like that. But once you're bit, you're bit. <laughs> He's like shaking, sitting down. <laughs> what, what? Why? Why? Yeah. He looks back at. He looks back at a uh, peach. He's, he's gone. She's just gone. <laughs> 
open one of her arms that's not holding the baby and to offer him a hug and she's going to give him a sad look. She's like, I know sugar. It's okay. He, he leans over and he's like bawling out crying. So right now the only person that's still out there is Lee. Every one of y'all are still in the church. Do y'all close the door? I guess uh, Ken is just <laughs> looking for any other zombies that might be strolling around. Um, before before we leave, because I do want to make sure this is like finally it. Uh. That Molotov that uh, JP had, he's going to light it, and he's going to mm -hmm. make sure to toss it and break it where the Jabberwocky was, to make sure his body at least burns alive. All right. So you Dylan's gonna back up like halfway, um, like to halfway like past the church so that the smell. She's not like right up in the smell. Mm. So you you burst the you break the the Molotov onto the Jabberwocky's body. And once the fire gets on it, y'all y'all slowly see y'all like see this like one of his arm like one of his arms try to fan off the fire but then it just slowly drops down and just sizzles and burns and the body is really a body it's not nothing else it's really him And as this is going down, Cain is looking around in the church to see if there's any strength, like zombies just walking around or whatever. Any stragglers. <laughs> yeah. And y'all in the church. Y'all got the door closed, secured. There's a couple of banging. And this is a big ass fucking church, so y'all could just have shelter in it um but Clarence is like mortified just hurt and he just looks at JP and he just looks he, he looks at JP and he's like you pulled me away. Why? I I I could have I could have saved my home brother. I could. Why? Because he. Well, why he did? Once you're bit, you're bit. But you honestly had the eyes of someone. He had the eyes that I've seen some and many people before. And those are the eyes of someone who's, for whatever reason, I feel like something took him and he just let go. And there ain't nothing you could have done. And if you stayed, you would have been there dead with him. That the zombies got to you. Please, please. The only thing we can do is this is try to reclaim his body and give him a proper burial. Understood. Huh. He's still, he's still with Peach, and Peach is trying to cover him.
He looks at Legba and he's like, <laughs> I'm your uncle. I, I'm going to protect you the best way I can. No matter what, okay? And you just hear Legba just like, look at Clarence, look, look back at Peach, does that whole looking around baby, look around shit. And then he looks over at this window and he just says, Daddy. And Clarence just looks over and like y'all, y'all slowly look over and y'all could have sworn y'all saw a glimpse of somebody walking by, like walking by this, this uh, painted window, but it goes to the other side. It goes like walking past the window and he's like, and Clarence is like, oh shit. Uh, what are we going to do now? The only thing we can do is survive. Okay. Uh, and he realizes, like, Lee's still out there. Well, I look at it like this. We can either stay here and kill off the zombies one by one and make this place a home, or we can fight our way back to the RV and just get the hell out of here. Okay. And uh, Kane goes to the door and says, well, who wants to carry Kilgo? I'll lead the way. As this is happening, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, well, we gotta kill the zombies first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll take care of that. <laughs> Somebody just care, grab, grab him. As y'all hear, as y'all discussing of what to do, y'all hear something. Y'all hear something in the back of the church way back in the church and it sounded like a door opening and shutting oh everybody now front doors we're going out i don't trust that shit yeah here's some footsteps but it's like normal footsteps And Kane's uh, gonna grab cover behind one of the fucking pews. So, are y'all gonna grab cover? Yes. Uh, yeah. Kane, All right. Kane's then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. As y'all grab cover, as y'all grab cover, the footsteps are getting closer and closer. And there's a doorway right on the right side of the church, right side of the, the church room. And it's the, the footsteps are getting closer and closer to this door. And then y'all see the door like the doorknob just turn and slowly open and out comes Kilgo Jesus Christ that was a fucking bad dream oh, oh. holy shit oh it's gonna fire around right next to his head and say, stay right there, you fucker. There ain't the fuck? no goddamn way. The fuck the fuck you shooting at me for? Holy ain't shit. No goddamn way, because you're laying down right fucking there. He looks over he looks over, it's like Realize 
I made a deal with the devil. He gave me a fucking trinket. Just a one-time fucking thing, actually. Oh, but I had to do one thing. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Let me check. Is anything on my back? Clarence just gets up. It's like, you son of a bitch. It's like, what? What? Oh, boy. What? God damn it. I forgot about that goddamn trinket. I didn't even ask what it did. Oh. And then I get over here and y'all shoot me? What the fuck? Oh. And he looks, he looks at Dylan. It's like, Dylan, put, put that fucking arrow back. Oh. Uh, She'll just be like, what arrow? I didn't shoot you. Huh, you got it fucking aimed at me. <laughs> well, uh, can't ever be too cautious, right? He, look, he looks He's like... He's just going to stand up and put his two fingers to his eyes and then point him at Kilgo like, I'm watching you, bitch. And then he's going to walk through the fucking doors. How do we, not, how do we he, not know that you're not the Jabberwocky? Say something only Kiko would know. He looks so he looks over at JP is like Boom Hauer. <laughs> yeah, it's Kugo. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's Kugo. He he looks over at Peach is like Oh fuck. Okay. Guys, I know y'all have a lot of fucking questions. A lot of them. The trinket, he pulls out the trinket a little bit. Now it's like, it looks like a regular fucking statue of like a, of a, a person with wings, but it has horns on it. And it looks like a mon monstrosity fucking pit, little statue or whatever. And he's like, okay, this right here, only Few people can handle this. Well, few people have had this. The thing is, you have to make a deal with the devil. Well, the thing is, you can choose any fucking deal. But he didn't tell you who, what kind of shit you have to endure. Well, while y'all facing this, and I'm laying down on the fucking ground, to y'all, it's like a few few minutes. To me, it's like eternity. I fucking died and I came back. Now this shit is fucking useless because it's a one-time fucking thing. The deal I did was to make sure y'all to make sure y'all are worthy of me. Of my stupidity. And whew, the guy who we had to face will be dead. Quentin is Quentin made a deal with death him fucking self. Which is somewhat a contract. The thing is for me Y'all pass the fucking test. The devil gives me this fucking trinket that if I ever fucking die, I can use it and come back. Not undead, just me. Why fucking. What? Why did you die? Well, that's the whole fucking point of the fucking trinket. If I, if I took care of a goal of mine, my goal, well, at first, get married, have a kid, uh, just be me. Well, that's very cliche. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, narrowbred HQ with a fuck bridge across the fucking interstate. <laughs> well. My other goal was to handle, to handle 
the fucking Jabberwocky. Because he fucking took my kid. Plus, he was tormenting you and all of y'all, and I, I couldn't stand that shit. So, I bit his fucking head off, causing him to die. That side of the bargain is done. The only problem is, I had to spend a few minutes in hell. In fucking hell. To y'all, it's about a few minutes. To me, it was like a fucking lifetime. And you know what's the one thing that makes this whole thing worth fucking wild? My hell was listening to my dad tell his fucking fish story. It's kind of ironic since we're inside of a church. Oh, yeah. But I'm good. I'm fucking good. Uh... Yay, St. Louis. Yeah. Well, since we got that shit taken care of, he take he takes off his mask. He takes off his um Kil Kilgo takes off his mask. It's like since we got that shit taken care of, uh whew, what, what what's the game plan now? And then y'all see his face. And his face looks clean. Like there's no burn marks. There's nothing. It's just him regular. Like regular, regular. And then anybody gonna tell Kilgo? Oh my goodness, honey. Have you seen your face? Yes, I saw my face. I'm fucking ugly. No. Oh, no, sugar. No, no, sugar. You're, you're quite handsome. The, the fuck you... What, Paige, have you been... Have you been drinking a lot of fucking Kool-Aid? What the fuck? Kane's gonna throw his nice, shiny, big old Bowie knife right between Kilgo's feet. The, Take the a look, fuck is wrong? The fuck is wrong with you, dude? He picks up the Bowie knife... And he's about to throw it back at you. Then he looks at it, looks at his reflection in the Bowie knife. It's like, the, the fuck? The, he starts touching his face. It's like, uh, now give me back my damn knife. And my fucking problem is, I just one v one to what was left of a horde, a big angry motherfucker with a hole in his neck and a goddamn pussy cat. Kilgo just like looks over and he's like, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? What? I'm I'm okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me check something. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You see him like straining. You see him look like he's about to take a shit. And he's like, oh shit. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm normal. You look like you got the reverse ugly stick this time. <laughs> and he just looks at y'all. He's like, I, I'm, I'm going to go get a drink. It's, and he's he's walking he's walking back at the door. He throws the bowie knife, but when Everyone he throws, just tell him don't go too far. When, when he throws the bowie knife, when he throws the bowie knife right back at a, uh, right back at Kane, the bowie knife, yeah. the bowie knife literally whizzed by him, whizzed by Kane, and goes straight through one of. The, like one of the doors that's holding the zombie herd. Really? My good knife? He just walked, like, Kilgo just pays no mind, and he's, like, walking, like, walking, uh, walking through the door that he just entered, 
and he slams the door. Kane's gonna go get his fucking knife. <laughs> Clarence just looks over at Peach, just like, Peach, did I just see my brother normal? Well, yeah, baby, I think you sure did. Unless we're all dreaming the same dream. I don't know. I, I just saw. I must. We must be. Ooh. Well, I hope we ain't high. That'd be bad for the baby. The baby is like right there, just, just smiling, just oh, like my laughing. Bad. Babies. It'd be bad for the babies. And as. As that happened, the herd, the herd is literally banging on the fucking door. So, Kane, are you gonna open the door? Uh, why did he have to throw my knife through it? Like, there's a, at the door is like a, a gash, like a, a open gash where the knife went straight in. Can I see where it landed? Uh. Through said gash? You can see it because it's like where it is, like where it went through is like eye level. Kane, sugar, I'm sure we can get your knife back, but maybe not right now. Kane's just gonna pull out a fucking flail from his belt. And he's like, I haven't gotten to use this yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, as this is going on, like, this is where uh, the session ends. Um, Lee is out there. The zombies is not phasing with Lee. Lee basically... She she was about to go to the church, but then she hears like a voice saying, "Well, he didn't go. He didn't go into the church." She just looks over at. She looks over a little bit, looks around. Who didn't need to go to the church? That's what Lee says. Your friend right there. She looks down and she sees her snake going straight back at straight up at her. And she's like, My snake entering this church. And then it quotes something that she knows. Um with vipers with vipers and snakes the devil doesn't go in and she's like you mean this snake is as soon as she looks at the snake the snake just like slither like hiss a little bit and then lays on her shoulder and that's concludes the session for tonight. <laughs>